Hello and welcome to Kettrick Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV Upper Mississippi River Valley and we are going to be diving into some bailing today. We have got the Handy Vermeer baler here and I think we're going to go up and get the full 180 centimeter of bales here. We want to have as few bales to manage as possible and I've been trying to think about the best way to go about this field. I think we are going to take it down the uh, side of the river here and see if we can get by down there without having too many bales but man I'm looking at this hay and we're gonna get bales really quickly doing this it looks like so we'll see if I can keep the bales from rolling off into the creek here but uh I don't know, I'm not overly helpful here. We're already almost at our first bale and we've barely made it down the way here. Hmm, I think we're gonna turn on automatic drop just to make our lives easier. And I'm gonna hopefully do a good job of just slowing down and stopping here and not uh, setting these bales off rolling as uh, they get full. I'm not as hopeful once we get up on the side hill here that I'm going to have as much luck, but we're going to see, we're going to see. If you've been following along on the series, this is our second normal episode, although we did do a setup episode, and uh, unfortunately it looks like we've still got some issues with the river flickering here that we haven't been able to resolve just yet. Um, I know DJ Modding is planning to release this... Uh, map here in the very near future. In fact, I think he posted on Facebook that this should be coming out on Friday, February 3rd. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. This is an updated version of the map from the previous version that I was uh, playing on last episode. And so we've had a number of updates and improvements to the map. And so we're going to keep uh, testing on this, reporting issues as we find them to DJ. And uh, he's always been real good at patching things up as he's come across them so I'm not uh, too concerned about it and I am looking forward to seeing how everybody enjoys this map in FS22. Uh, I've been enjoying it a lot so far in the bit of playing that we've done on it. I think this is probably one of the better maps for uh, the Midwest that have come out in FarmSim22 here to date and so I'm looking forward to having quite the playthrough on this map. We're going to be getting into all kinds of uh, fun activities here. And I'm really looking forward to buying some cows today in our episode. And so I'm uh, hoping that with all of this hay that we're picking up now, we're going to be able to have enough to keep the cows fed once we uh, purchase them for at least a little while. And in that time, we'll be able to also uh, get our silage going when we move the clock forward to next month. And then we'll be able to probably get at least one more cut of uh, hay off of this field before we get into winter. So I think it should all work out. Now, I haven't done a whole lot with cows in general, dairy uh, in a farm sim. And so I'm not really sure how much food we're going to need and things like that. So it's going to be a bit of an adventure as we get going on this series to just figure out the pacing. I know we kind of went through that here recently on our Farmville series with the hogs. And I found out in that series that we definitely underestimated the uh, birth rate and the food consumption rate of hogs as we got up over uh, 1,500 hogs. And so I suspect we'll probably have something similar here as we get into things with the cows. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm missing a little bit there. We'll come back and get that on our next pass when it's a little bit easier to turn into things. I'm kind of curious, we do have a bale counter here. So that was our bale number six. We haven't even made it around a single headland pass. So if I had to guess right now, man, I'm thinking 50 bales off of this field. Let's find out, I'm, I'm really curious.
right, we are coming up on the final pass here, and I have to say, this Baylor goes uh, pretty good. It runs at a pretty constant 11 miles an hour here. We made a short work of this field. I'm glad that we uh, wind rode it up, though. I think that that was the right call. And, oh, I've got 2% left to fill up here. We've got some little scraggly bits that we can pick up, hopefully, to top off this last bale. And I have purposefully left my HUD off. I didn't want to spoil the surprise for myself. I'm really curious to see how many bales we ended up with. This is the last bale here coming off of the baler now. And oh, nowhere near what I thought we were going to be at. I thought we'd get to 50. I've definitely estimated a little bit high there. We're at 29 bales. Still a significant amount of bales. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and toss this baler in the shed. And we're going to figure out how to pick all these bales up, which I promise will be a painful experience for those of you in the audience. I am notoriously bad at uh, using a front loader with my mouse and my joystick is uh, in the middle of getting hooked up for another setup right now for something else that I'm working on. And so we won't be uh, able to do that. That's also my steering wheel is uh, in the same spot. So that's part of why we're having so many issues with uh, backing things up and such is using the keyboard controls. I always find a little bit awkward for some of that. However, let's see if we can find our way over here to the loader controls. Everything seems to be working. So that's that. And then, oh, there's my uh, claws. So I'm used to using a grapple in a more traditional sense in that uh, you'd have spikes on the top and the bottom. I've never used a bucket grapple in real life. So this is going to be a first for me. I'm thinking if I just kind of come down on it from on top, I could probably pick it up pretty easy. Oh, 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 that was too much. Let's try that again. I'm wondering if, yeah, this thing's going to grab onto the bale if I let it. And so I'd like to have it not grab onto the bale. And then we can scoop into the bucket, grab, and lift. I think something like that's going to work pretty good. In theory, we could get two of them in the bucket at a time. However, before we get started on all that, I just want to dump a bale into this zone once and see how this is going to work. Hay is not accepted here. Really? Configuration. This is a uh, bale storage mod that we've got here, and you can set what is able to be stored here, and we'd like to store hay. Confirm. We've got a one of 330 objects that we're able to store in this for hay. I think I can switch between them potentially, I don't think hay is the only thing I can put in at a time. I think we can put multiple things in at once. And then I'm also able to spawn these things back out at some point. But for now, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried about getting the hay bales into our storage for the time being. And we'll play with uh, getting things back out at a later point in time. And so I'm going to pick up a couple more bales here. I want to see if I can be uh, skilled enough to get two into the bucket at once here and then we will go and get the bale trailer and see about loading all of these up on the bale trailer and bringing them back more than uh, one or two at a time there's one let's see if I can pull off the magic and get two now, one is fine. Two, I think we might need a back weight of some kind or some wheel weights or something in the back here. I don't have anything like that on this tractor at the moment, but uh, this thing's going to get heavy in a hurry. And we did a horrible job of lining up here, so let me try and fix that a smidge. Get those two right next to each other. You know what? Is this one of those cases where it's easier to do it in cab, maybe? Let's find out. Don't close it too far or the bales get tricksy. 
and uh, yeah, I've got a good hold on them. They're just too heavy for the uh, tractor here. So we're going to roll it back like this to put the weight a little bit further back on the tractor. This is definitely a not how this is meant to be done. And we'll probably just pick them up one at a time and put them on the bale trailer after this. I just wanted to prove that I could pick up two at once on this uh, bucket, which I feel like I've successfully proven. And then we can just keep dumping them in here, having them stack up in the back. Very nice. And let's go out here to the other end of the field. We're going to pull the pickup with the bale trailer in here and make our lives easy. And we'll see if our trusty uh, little Silverado can manage to pull a handful of bales around on this trailer. We'll see how well uh, balanced the trailer is, how the weight gets distributed here. I think we'll park it uh, right here in the middle for now and start loading up these bales, see how we do. We may uh, decide to move things around at some point here, I don't know, but uh, let's do it. Now, this is where I'm actually thinking we might go pick up a bale spike because I don't think this is how I'm meant to pick these bales up, but it is how I'm meant to put them on the trailer. And so we've kind of got a mix match here of attachments where a bale spike would be a lot quicker I feel like to drop them on and tip them off without all of the shenanigans that I'm dealing with right now and if we just push that forward a bit the bales should continue to slide onto that trailer as I stack more and more of them on the back there and I should be able to just push them down the length of the trailer at least that's the theory Let's see if we can prove that theory true. We've got the second one all clawed in here with our grapple. I think the grapple is essentially a uh, bale spear. And I've got it speared on there real good. There we go. So let's see if I close this down and just go with the bucket like this. Can I give them a little bit of a push? There we go. Yeah, it seems to be working all right. All right, let's, uh, let's trade this out. I think that the uh, grapple is gonna work good if I'm just trying to grab a couple of bales when I'm making feed and such, but for the purposes of picking them up and putting them on a trailer and trying to get them out of the field quickly, I think I'd rather have a bale spear. And then I don't have any fancy bale spear mods or anything like that loaded up on the server. I don't know if there's a whole lot of innovation that's happened in bale spears. So I just grabbed a base game bale spear and hopefully this is going to let us uh, get going here. It's a double bale spear. Looks like it's more designed for a square bell than anything. Although I could probably pick up two round bales at the same time with this. I'm actually kind of curious to see how that would work if I picked up one on each side could I then easily unload one without dropping it let's go figure that out again I don't have the weight capacity oops to be doing two at once here so that's the other struggle here we'll we'll work our way through that flaw in my plan after the fact but uh, just to give this a shot let's uh, see if we could actually do it Oh yeah, look at how uh, lined up these are. So we're gonna do it something like that just to be able to drive again. I know, I know we need some rear weights on this thing. I, maybe I'll just go pick up a rear weight here in a moment. Because that isn't gonna work for us, is it? I just wanna get one of these off of my There we go. It actually works pretty good. My loading skills leave a lot to be desired. I'm sure getting a weight is going to help out a little bit because I won't be uh, falling all over the place, but I don't think it's gonna help out enough that uh, you guys are gonna notice. 
However, loading these up does seem to be working out pretty good. I wish I was getting them on there just a little bit straighter. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to add the wheel weights on the back of this thing and see how that helps us out. Hopefully that's going to give us enough weight to do our thing. If not, we can always get a three point weight on the back as well. I just prefer not to. I always thought they looked kind of ugly. And I suppose we could just be doing this with uh, in cab view as well. We didn't quite get centered on that bale. There we go. Oh, oh, nope. Nowhere near enough weight. All right, well, I'm going to drag these over here and then we're going to go and get a better back weight. There we go. All right. Let's go to the store again here, folks. Weights. Do we have a nice... We do have some nice John Deere weights. Um, what is that for? I'm not sure, but we're going to get the biggest weight I can for the three-point. And as I'm loading this trailer up, I'm sure some of you are screaming in the uh, comment section, why don't you just drive them down there and dump them into the uh, bail point straight up? I think that probably would actually be more efficient for the field right here by where we're storing them. And maybe we will end up doing that. And then in the future, we will uh, use the trailer when we're out in fields that are further away from the farm. Uh, where we actually have to bring them back. I think that I could probably drive them over here and dump them into the storage a lot quicker than we're loading them onto this trailer right now, for sure. So I just want to get one full load on the trailer. We'll focus on uh, some of the bales that are maybe down in the hill here and a little bit further away to finish getting this trailer filled up. And then we'll do the rest of them the easy way. Well, it's kind of on there. We'll wiggle it onto the spear. And that's working so much better. No more uh, tipping the tractor over, which is good. And I should be able to get these two on, and then I think we're done. I didn't actually count. I'm just looking at how much rail is left and kind of guessing here. I'm going to try and get those pushed all the way up to the front real quick. Nope, nope, it's... Okay, there we go. I thought it was going to roll off the other way for a second there. Try and load this one up from in cab. Get it squared up. Drop it down. And boom. I think that's it. Oh yeah, looking good. Now the moment of truth. Can we haul them back up to the farm? Ooh, I can strap them down, too. Look at that. Oh, we have room for one more bale on here. Eh, we're going to run with it rather than trying to squeeze them all down. I feel like I'm risking the bale physics gods uh, coming after me if I try too much harder to make these work. And I'm trying to figure out which way this trailer unfolds. If it's to my left or to my right. You know, I, I feel like this is the kind of thing I probably should have tested before I filled it up. So we're going to drive over the zone. I'm going to unstrap them. Oh, we don't even have to do anything. I do want to figure it out, though. Ah, oh, it tips to the right. Good deal. Well, now we know for the future. Very cool. All right, so that's a whole bunch of our bales loaded in here. Let me just uh, let me just park this thing here for now. Like I said, I don't know that it makes a lot of sense to monkey with when we're literally in the field next to the storage. And if this was real life, we'd be having to unload them again with the tractor and stack them up there. So we're going to just uh, jump in here and see if we can rip out the rest of these bales real quick, two at a time. Should be able to make some pretty quick progress.
Oh man, as we get to the end here, I actually managed to make a pretty good looking grab of two bales. No big gaps, they're on there pretty square. I'm not saying I'm a pro or anything, but it's getting easier, it's getting easier folks. We've got one more bale out there in the field that I know of at least. And then uh, we'll have to maybe count here real quick. Maybe I'll do it before we leave. Let's see here. We've got 27 in storage, it looks like. And if I recall from uh, being in the baling tractor here, we don't have the baler hooked up anymore. I'm almost positive it's 29. So that means there's two bales out here somewhere. I know where one of those bales is. Let's see if we can find the other one here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it might have uh, rolled off to, so to speak. Um, we've got this one here. We're going to go ahead and nab this one while we're here. And then I feel like I might have left one in the corner. It's down by the river somewhere. I don't know. Let's see here. Is there one somewhere down here? I, I don't want to roll down into the creek myself. I'm getting kind of heavy with this big bale on my front. Carefully circle around here. Just kind of keeping an eye out for it. I'm sure it's one of these things where I'm going to miss it and you guys are going to be seeing it and yelling at me in the comments, but that's all right. Let's circle around here. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Not too shabby. We'll get this last bale picked up here and hauled on up to the shed and we'll see about purchasing some cows. And that's our last two bales here. We're at 29 out of the 330 this can store. So we got plenty of room for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and back this guy right up into the shed here. And it's time for us to go figure out what it's going to take to get our first batch of cows. So we're going to come on over here. We're going to start things off in barn A, I believe. So let's come in here. And what kind of cows do we want to get? Uh, definitely either the brown Swiss or the Holsteins. I don't think there's actually much of a difference here in uh, Farm Sim. I think we're going to be going with the Holsteins here for our cows. These are the ones I've seen most commonly in Iowa as I've been driving through there and spent a lot of time in that area. I'm sure they probably have some of these other uh, breeds in the area, but this is what I would expect to see on a typical dairy farm in Iowa. And I'm just looking at the difference here. I want to start producing milk pretty quickly. So I want to get one of these older ones. Uh, I'm not sure. Puberty is 18 months, so I can get them at 0, 12, or 18. I think 18 is the point at which they can uh, get pregnant and start having more cows, which also I believe is necessary to start producing milk. I don't know. Uh, somebody in the comments let me know. It, uh, maybe this is the point at which they start producing milk, and then this is uh, the point at which they can uh, start having more cows. I don't know, but we're going to get the more expensive ones because I do want to get started, so to speak. And it looks like I can buy 60 at a time. How much food do you think we need to support 60 cows? 60 sounds like a lot to me. I'm going to back this down to 50 for nice round numbers because we do have a 500 uh, size barn. And that's going to eat through a huge chunk of our money. Um, we are going to pay for delivery. I'm not going to be buying trailers and hauling them up here. Man, we're going to do it. Be brave. Be brave. So there we go. We've got 50 cows. I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. And we're going to dump two bales straight in here. And we're going to see what two bales gets us. I don't think it's going to get us very far. And we do have uh, corn and silage coming, quote unquote, soon. When we move the top clock forward a month here, we're going to be able to uh, get a bunch of silage going. We are going to be able to get another cut of this grass here yet. And quite honestly, if we find that we just don't have enough food, I'm just going to go lease another uh, field. So let's see about spawning two bales. The requested bales have been spawned. 
and I don't have my grapple bucket down here. Grapple bucket would have probably been actually easier to try and uh, pick up the bales that have spawned this way. That's all right. We're going to get the bale spear out here and see if we can figure out how to do this. So we're going to go out the back gate here. Ooh, and I can already see a bunch of cows out in the pasture. Beautiful. I love it. I love that there's a wandering zone out there that also includes the yard up here. This is going to be quite fun. I know I could probably leave that gate open with the cattle grate there, but that's all right. Um, wow, I love seeing them down there. And like I said, I love that they're just walking around in the yard. Although, really, you're going to lay down in my road. What if I need to get to that uh, pit there, man? Two bales is pretty wide here. Oh, is that a cow in the alleyway? Move it. Come on, dude. Let's get going. I wonder if I can bump into them or if I can just drive straight through. Uh, we can drive through them. Perfect. Although we've got these doors open, I wonder how many cows have escaped. Now, well, there they are. It used up both of those bales. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out here. We'll get these gates closed back up. And let's take a look here. Oh my goodness, we have barely, barely made a dent here in the hay. Hay is 70% uh, productivity for the food. I think it uses them from the top down. So if we had total mixed ration, it would eat that first. And then after that, if we don't have that, it'll eat silage, which would get us up to an 80% productivity. Not having that, they'll eat hay, which gets us to an 18, or I'm sorry, a 70% productivity and so on and so forth. All right, well, this is uh, simultaneously awesome and concerning. We are gonna need quite a bit of feed to keep them going here. So I think what we need to do is run this tractor back over here and we're gonna start loading up uh, bales into our feed mixer. I'm hoping I can get more than two bales into the mixer and then we'll be able to haul some more up here a little bit easier. We'll also be able to get the tractor and the mixer through the uh, middle of the barn there to feed the cows a little bit easier, I hope too. So let's get down here and see if we can figure this out. I'd also like to get the other grapple on here. I'm gonna leave, am I gonna leave this? I'm gonna leave this gate open for the moment. And I'm going to put this bale spear somewhere out of the way here. Probably not the best idea to hide it all the way in the very back of the shed here, but that's what we're gonna do. And let's go get us a feed wagon and our grapple. And we're going to go ahead and drop this here. The intent is to hook the other tractor up to that. But I also don't need this weight getting towed around with me here all the time. So I'm going to drop this weight somewhere right over here in the corner where I can get to it easily. So I think we'll be picking up bales one at a time here as we load them into the feed mixer. I could probably move that pickup in the hay wagon out of the way too. Everything's kind of starting to stack up here in the way. Let's do that while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, we'll just sit here and keep struggling around it. I'd say this uh, hay hauler worked out perfectly for what we needed. We just didn't actually need it right here in the yard at this point in time. And then this thing, I'm just going to do a little bit of a spin around here. I do want to make sure we've got the low side pointing towards the point there. Something like that. And why is this uh, hooking up way up there? That is not at all where a cart should be hooking up to. Should be hooking up right down there. There we go. My goodness, what happened there? I have no idea. 
We're going to spawn four at a time here, mostly because I was curious how high these stacks can go. Looks like they're going to go three high. That's all right. And in hindsight, I bet you I could have taken two at a time, even when they're sideways with this, uh, sp the way this uh, grapple works. But we're going to just do it one at a time here. We're a little front heavy still. I was hoping the wheel weights would provide a little bit more ballast for doing one bale at a time, but apparently not. So let's see if we can start dumping these in here. I see that the augers have come on. I'm just not sure if it's actually filling up here. Oh, it is filling up here. And oh, this is not going to save me any time at all. I was really hoping that I was going to get more bales in here, but this isn't even going to hold more than a, a full a bale is 75%. I won't even get a full second bale in here. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. All right, well, all of our plants are going uh, by the wayside because 50 cows are going to need way more feed than this little uh, feed mixer is going to be able to provide. And so I'm having to recalculate my entire thoughts on uh, how we're going to feed our animals here on this farm. So please excuse me while I have a momentary crisis of uh, grossly underestimating what equipment we're going to need. I'm going to dump these in here. I'm going to just try and get two more bales in there. I know that um, it's going to be full before the second bale gets eaten up here. But uh, I figure we can haul them this way at least and mix them up as we're in the uh, the feed area there inside the barn. And this will at least let us get uh, three full bales moved up there. Let's see if I can just get it to knock down there. If I'd done this a little neater, I think I could have actually gotten three bales. But that's all right. So as long as we're in this tractor, we're going to go ahead and nab this last one right here. And we'll just hold on to this. We're going to be dealing with loading it up when we get back. Let's jump in the 4440 and run this up here. Feed some more cows and see what we're looking at after we dump these three bales into the feed trigger. Oh my goodness. I think this one up here is, yep, this is where the feed trigger is. The other one I think is the straw, which we'll have to figure out here. And if the feed trigger ran the entire length of the barn. I might do the, uh, you know, two mile an hour unload as we go uh, a bit like you would in real life. But since we're kind of limited in how the barn functions here from a game mechanics perspective, we're just going to sit in the zone and unload this. And yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything, but that's because we are uh, destroying these bales. We just lost that first bale that we already had in there. So we're working on uh, depleting the second full bale and that bale's gone now we're getting rid of the uh, amount in the hopper and we will have uh, fed these cows three additional bales putting us at what five total bales now and while that's unloading we might as well get this door open we're gonna need to get on out of here but before we do that I'm gonna pop up here you can see we're starting to make a dent in food but I don't think this is enough food to go forward a whole day and productivity is now at two percent so we're generating milk we got five liters of milk and 364 liters of slurry so we're making a dent we're feeding some cows we just got to come up with a whole heck of a lot more feed than what we just uh put in there so that's gonna be all kinds of interesting here Man, I think we could put all of that hay that we just got in here and not barely make a dent. Luckily, we do have one more field that we can go hay uh, over behind the house and get a little bit more going here. And I'm mostly just interested in seeing if we can get past August into September. I think once we get into September, our cornfield is going to be at a point where we can chop it. And that is going to be worth a, a lot of uh, good chaff to make silage. And silage and hay with a little bit of straw is going to go a long way towards making some TMR. 
and TMR is going to really feed these cows well and get us to a point where they're super productive making milk, which is hopefully going to be our real money maker on this farm. I mean, sure, we're going to do some cash crops at some point uh, in this year. Even we're going to make some money on our crops. But a lot of what we're going to do with our fields and stuff as we move forward in this series is going to be focused on how do we feed these cows. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. We're going to be uh, doing some searching, finding a better, hopefully American style uh, feed wagon that is much, much bigger than this before our next episode. And from there, uh, next episode is going to be probably titled Crisis, uh, Food Crisis for Cows. How are we going to solve it? I don't know. We'll be figuring that out, though. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button. And this episode should be coming out on Friday, February 3rd, which is when the map is set to release. So hopefully you're able to download your own copy of UMRV today and get playing on this map as well. If you're looking for any of the mods that I'm using in this series, they're all listed on my Discord server. I'll link in the description below. That's all for today. Kederk out. Oh, don't roll away on me. All right, we got to go for it. Spear him. Ah, I got it. Get these doors open. We're going to bring these in through this. Oops. Oh, we are a little heavy. I should have left that uh, weight on the back, I guess. I was hoping the wheel weights were going to... Whoop, boom.